Hi guys, in this tutorial, I will walk you through the process of how I add tone shader to 3D objects. This model has parts with materials that has texture maps and some parts with materials with just shaders, like the eyeballs and teeth. I'll start with a material with just the shaders. So for the teeth, I have set up a glossy principal shader. And to that, I'm gonna add a shader to RGB node and put it through a color ramp that is set to constant. So now I can set the shadows and highlights. For the color of highlight, I'll set the designated color for teeth. And for shadows, I'll pick the same color and make it darker. And now I have to do the same with the black part of the eyeball. But this time I'm leaving the highlight color as white to keep the little white circle that 2D animated characters have. And I'm copying the same nodes to the brown part of the eye and change the color from black to brown. And for the white part, I'm just replacing the principal shader with a white emission shader. And for the body that has a texture map, make sure to set the desired levels of specular and roughness. I disconnected the texture from the shader so I can add the shader to RGB node with a color ramp converter with constant. After setting the shadow values, I noticed the gradient in the shadow. This happens because the shadows are enabled in the lights in the scene. So when I uncheck the shadows in both lights, the fall off of the shadow and highlight become constant. And now to bring back the colors from the texture map, I'm adding an emission shader. And to that, I'm adding a hue saturation value node to make the colors darker. This will act as my shadow color. So to add the intended color, I add a mix node to which I connect another emission node which will have the texture connected. This will act as the highlight. And to divide these two colors, I'm using the color ramp as a factor to the mix node. With the right emission in right slot, it'll create the tune effect. I want the nodes to have a different level of specular. So I copy paste the nodes from the body material and replace the current nose material and change the specular and roughness in the principal shader. And instead of leaving the same color as the highlight, I'm adding a custom color by choosing the darker color and lightening it to my liking. And I adjust the color ramp to fit the style. And then I copy the nodes from the body again and paste it in the tail material. And then I switch the texture map for the tail texture instead of the body texture. That's it for the tune shader. And now it's time to add the line work. So I make a new material for the line. And I'm giving it an emission shader with a black color and turn on back face culling. And on the modifiers tab, I'm adding a solidify modifier with only flip normals checked on and with the material index set to 2 since that is the number for our line material. And then I adjust the thickness to my liking. And with the clump value, I add a little bit of thick and thin effect to the line so it has a more drawn-on look. Then I do the same for all the objects that are part of the character, like teeth and tail, giving them the required values for thickness to fit the style.
and that's it for the tune shader Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.